Hi, I'm Jared Covilli, and I'm here today to show you a favorite tool of mine called Google Meet, a free web conferencing tool from Google. This tool allows you to connect with your students and parents from anywhere to give you the options to create quick online office hours or to even teach remotely. Let's take a closer look. To get started with your video recording, go to meet.google.com and you'll find a spot where you can add or join a meeting. I'm just gonna click this button and you can see that it's asking me if I already have a code, I can join it, or if I wanna start my own meeting, I can just leave this blank. I'm gonna call this my office hours. And I'll click continue. And just that quickly, I'm in. So now I'm going to join the office hours. And you can see that I'm live. And here's what I'm going to share with the rest of my group. So I can share this through Google Classroom or Canvas or whatever I'm currently using. And it will allow my students to join using the URL or I can add them through their email. So we'll just add Jared Fawson to show you this. And like that, we're live inside of a Google Meet room. So there are some nice advantages to this. This is just a quick way that I can communicate with students or parents uh, so I can give them a little bit more information about something that's going on. You can see that if I need to present or if I want to turn on captions, both of those options are available. Uh, when Jared joins us, we'll just kind of show you how that works. Um, but this is an easy way for you to communicate with uh, different individuals that you have questions or concerns and they want to get a con in connection with you. And there you go. We can see that Jared's joined us. So Jared, we're just kind of showing how you can use Google Meet to provide some office hours with your students. So um, as we mentioned a moment ago, we can, uh, I can now communicate with Jared if I need to just by talking. Uh, we can also share information through a chat room over here on the side. So if I needed to share a link with Jared, I'll just pretend. So you can see, I can share a quick link with him. And I can just paste that in the chat so that he and I can both have access to something. Uh, additionally, if I want to start a presentation, like maybe instead of office hours, I wanna do a little communicating with my students and do a little teaching. I'm gonna click the present now option. And you can see that it gives me the option to share my screen or a specific window. I'll just click on a window here. And you can pick from whichever window you want. So right now I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna share a different tab in it. So Jared right now can see what I'm presenting. So this is a Google Slides presentation. Uh, Jared, maybe for the audience, just tell them what you're currently seeing on the screen. So I see your entire screen. Um, so I can see all your tabs that are up. I can see that you've got a PowerPoint there, um, but you're not running it yet. So I can see all the slides. Yep. That's what I see. So as soon as I click present, then Jared will let us know what he sees. Yeah, and now I just see one slide of the presentation that you have. So as a student, Jared can participate as I give uh, some information about this uh, Google Slides presentation that I've got. But that's a quick and easy way for us to get in and maybe spend a few minutes instead of doing everything um, asynchronously, we can actually do some communicating in a synchronous fashion. So Jared, um, that gives us just a little quick look at Google Meets, a tool that most teachers have who are Google districts. Uh, any, any comments you'd like to share about your experience using Google Meet? Well, the nice thing about it was you sent me a message about two minutes ago, and then you emailed me the link, and then I was able to just um, paste that into a browser and get going. That's that simple, that easy to get started. No login, no password or anything like that. Just access through a link. Okay, thanks for joining us. Okay, bye-bye.
one of the first things that you'll notice inside of Google Meet is that uh, as soon as I load up the meeting, I'm ready to talk. I do have some controls here where I can turn on and off my video. So if I didn't want to have my camera on and just wanted to be able to communicate, you can see that I can turn this off. This might be a good option for you if you're um, suffering from low bandwidth on your internet. This will take up less of my bandwidth. But one thing that I've noticed for most is that they like to be able to see your face as you're talking to them. So turning on your camera, even though it may be a little uncomfortable for some of us, is a good idea when you're communicating with somebody in this virtual environment. Uh, another thing that you can see over here on the left hand side of my screen is that I can click on the meeting details and I can actually send out attachments to people. Uh, we showed you how you can include things in the chat, but here you can also attach like a document if you wanted to have a brief agenda or something that you wanted two people to look at. Finally, on the lower right hand corner of my Google Meet screen, I'm going to click on the option for more options. And you can see that I have a few different options as far as turning on settings like uh, being able to manipulate my camera or my audio. Um, I can also go in and I can adjust the layout of my screen or again, you notice that I can turn on closed captioning. So those are a few of the features that you can find in Google Meet, but this is a quick and easy way for you to connect with students, parents, 